Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another video. All right, y'all, back with another quick rankings video update. Uh, this time I'm focused on the UFC uh, women's pound for pound list today because I uh, had a few people hit me up. They want to know my thoughts on this new shakeup. Y'all know the rankings just came out today. Um, and I just, you know, got up this morning and, you know, I saw it. Had a few people hit me up and asked me about the new shakeup, which I'll give you my thoughts on. Um, I'm not going to talk about the whole top 15, you know, because there's really no reason. Um, there's only one big shakeup here, you know. That one big shakeup, of course, is Juliana Pena jumping up the highest. Everybody else pretty much is ju just going to drop one space, you know, with her entering the top five. So I'm just going to focus on the top five and kind of go from there. And then, you know, I'll come in where the shakeup is and give you my thoughts because some people ask me about it. So uh, coming in at number five, of course, is the former strawweight champion, Zhang Wei Li. You know, last week she was number four. She drops to number uh, five now after going 0 and 2 this year against Rose Nama Yunus, which is something I'll probably talk about in another video. Like what's really a. What's what's really up with Zhang Wei Li from here? You know, um, what's what's her future look like? You know, because after going zero and two this year, you know that's got to be kind of um, mentally stressing on a fighter. You know, especially when you're riding high, and you know now you were defeated twice by the same person, and you know it's just been a rough year for her. You know, so that's another video coming. But uh, coming in num number four here is the new bantamweight champion, Juliana Pena. You know, she jumped up from number eleven. She jumps up. Seven spots from number 11 to number four. So uh, shout out to Juliana Pena. First off, I got to say, you know, Juliana Pena, it's been a good year for her. You know, she came in and, you know, she asked for this fight. She, she you know, went to social media. She took it in her hands to kind of self-promote herself. Um, starting way back in, what, February? Well, at the beginning of the year, you know, we've been talking about this fight since then. You know, there was a cancellation. You know, she didn't let it disrupt her her focus, you know, and she kept pushing. She kept pushing till she got it, and she closed out the year nicely with that with that uh, devastating upset over Amanda Nunes. You know, definitely, like I said, if not one of the biggest upset, the biggest upset in WMMA history, right? So shout out to Juliana Pena. I mean, that's the definition of a true champion. You know, on the mic, you know, she's got it in the octagon. She executed a good game plan. Whether or not she'll keep it, you know, that's something else we'll talk about in another video. But shout out to Juliana Pena. She's coming in at number four. She now holds that Bantamweight title. So, yeah, she's in a good spot. Now, here's where the real question comes in. Number three is now the featherweight champion, Amanda Nunes. She drops down two spots from number one in the pound-for-pound -pound list to number three. And above her is the two-time strawweight champion, Rose Nama Yunus, who uh, elevated one spot. Now, some people, you know, they already hit me up saying, Rose over Nunes, does she really deserve that? You know, of course, number one is Valentina Shevchenko, right? No question there, longest reigning champion right now. Got the most title defenses, right? She's holding it down. So no problem there. But here is where people ask me, Rose over Amanda. After Amanda Nunes just facing one setback. I mean, it was a devastating loss, but just one setback. Does that make her uh, fall below Rose Nama Yunus, who only defended her belt once this year? I mean, she is 2-0 and this year, right? And she captured the belt twice. But is that really enough to put her over Amanda Nunes, who is, con who is considered the GOAT? Um, my thoughts on that, my, my answer to that question absolutely not you know rose nami Yunus is not over amanda nunes i know some people say well, you reaching you reaching here it's just a pound for pound list but i take it seriously you know i definitely take it seriously because it's not just about looking at what the ufc says as far as rankings it's about respect it's about respect and accomplishments and i don't think that amanda nunes's loss was enough to knock her below rose nami Yunus, who you know uh only just captured the belt this year you know and defended it one time whereas amanda nunes her GOAT status still, it still holds a lot of weight to me. You know, everything she accomplished, you know, to be in that list is uh, worthy of still keeping her at least at number two. You know, of course, Valentin Shevchenko, they both fought two close fights, you know, with uh, Nunes and Valentin Shevchenko, that is. You know, they fought two close fights, but she deserves to be number one because we're looking at skills and resume. We're looking at skills, resume, and consistency. You know, she still got her, her belt. And she's got a lot of title defenses to back it up, right? So pound for pound is still about skills and resume. It's not about skills. It's not about resume. It's about skills and resume put together. And I think Amanda Nunes, her resume speaks for itself. Whereas Rose Namunas, her resume speaks for itself as well, but not enough to put it over Amanda Nunes. Because, again, you have to look at the, the fighters that the opponents Amanda Nunes beat. You know what I mean? You, you look you have to go back and look at you have to go back and trace those opponents 
that she defeated on who they also fought, right? You know, it's like a branch. That's how that's how I gauge my um my my resume stats, and that's how I gauge my pound for pound stats. Like everybody Amanda Nunes beat, we have to look at who they beat as well. You know, like somebody like Jermaine Duranime, who Amanda defeated twice. Amanda defeated twice. Jermaine Duranime holds a win over Juliet opinion. You know what I mean? So if you trace back who she beat, she beat some tough customers, right? She's beat a lot of them. You know, she has a lot of good names on her resume. Rose has some good names on her resume, too, but there's a lot of second and third tier fighters there as well. You know, and then, like, if you really want to get deep, yes, yeah, she beat Zhang Wei Li twice, but who is Zhang Wei Li, Re, Zhang Wei Li really beat, too, as well? Like, Zhang Wei Li, of course, yes, yeah, she had a close fight with Joanna. She came out the victor. She stopped Jessica Andrade in the first round, right? But even before that, who is she really beat? beat right who she really really beat to make her everybody say she is like considered pound for pound a threat in the strawweight division right like if you just want to really trace it back whereas amanda nunez you go down her list she defeated ronda rousey misha tate holly home gdr twice throughout her career shevchenko twice uh a tough fighter tough contender at featherweight at uh at, at featherweight uh felicia spencer right so and then holding down two divisions, you know, she's a two division world champion, 135 and 145. Now, I know some people say 145 is not really a division, but she did beat what they had there. So I think that's enough to say uh, Amanda Nunez status is not enough to be uh, it's, it's not enough to be knocked off to number three below Rose Nami Yunus. Um, you know, just, just off of this one loss, you know, just off of this one loss, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. That's the uh, top five, as y'all can see here. Jean Wei Lee, Juliana Pena coming in, you know, coming in hot. You know, she's coming in hot. She now has a belt. Amanda Nunes, featherweight champion, strawweight champion Rose, and of course, the flyweight champion, champion Valentina Shevchenko. But, yeah, that's my thoughts. I just think that uh, Amanda Nunes, she should have fell down maybe one spot because, again, I still think everything she's done, still holds a lot of weight she's still done way more than rose nami Yunus, and it wasn't enough you know this loss wasn't enough just to knock her off to to number three below rose when rose again like i said she just defended her title once this year and still hasn't accomplished as much as Nunes, right so let me know in the comment section guys what y'all think um you know again this is you know this has been a crazy year for wmma i will say that you know this was a big shake up here but i think it was a much needed shake up as much as i you know respect Nunez and her accomplishments you know she's been doing she's been doing a lot this is also another video coming you know she's also been doing a lot so I think we needed this shake up and we needed some new blood to grab that belt to kind of take us in a different direction because you know I don't think she was as consistent as of lately but she's still been holding it down with skills and resume and dominance so no uh, Rose to me should be number three and Nunez should be number two because between Shevchenko and Nunez, they've been the most dominant. They've been the most skillful. They got the better resumes. They've been holding it down longer. You know, enough said, right? Combo Breaker 99. Let me know, guys, what y'all think. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.